WAM engineering clients who get their cartridge analyzed by us here in the lab are asked to make a choice uh, when and if they need to have a corrective shim made for their cartridge in order to get to their optimal SRA, VTA, and azimuth angles, which, by the way, is almost always, whether they want their corrective shim made from a cured resin material or a milled brass shim. Two options, very different. The white shim is included for free with the analysis, and the milled brass shim is an upgrade and uh, an additional cost. Now, the brass shim definitely sounds a lot better, in my opinion, and in the opinions of those who have, have heard both on their rigs, in part because it's adding another mm, six and a half to seven grams of mass over the white shim, and because of the increased rigidity. You can certainly expect from the brass shim increased base solidity, more authority, greater overall clarity, um, better separation of instruments, and uh, larger sound stage. Again, these benefits are mostly obtained because of the additional rigidity and extra mass that you will get with the brass over the cured resin shim. Look for other videos we make on why having a high mass in your cartridge tone arm system is so advantageous. What the potential pitfalls are for you if you choose this route. And um, also uh, videos on rigidity and why it is of paramount importance in the cartridge tone arm system. There's your Wham Engineering soundbite for the week. More to come.